Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us. My name is Sue. I'm the program manager at the Asia Democracy Network. Uh, thank you again for coming back on the second day of our uh, second annual Asia Democracy Assembly. Uh, we're really happy uh, to have you back. And we had such a great day last yesterday. And we're hoping to uh, continue the conversation about uh, strengthening regional uh, democracy promotion and solidarity among civil society, uh, as well as um, multi-stakeholders uh, in the region. Um, Today, uh, we have a very uh, brief program. Um, it'll be focused on breakout sessions to have a smaller uh, discussions um, uh, in groups on uh, various subjects. On, uh, we'll be having three breakout sessions um, on draconian law, uh, freedom of expression, and strengthening regional solidarity. Um, if you would like to join us um, in the breakout sessions, you could go to um, our uh, Facebook page, uh, find the link, Zoom link to join us, and then you'll be you'll have to join Zoom uh, to come in and go into the breakout sessions. Uh, we'll be cutting the live during the breakout sessions uh, for technical purposes, and then we'll be coming back on live um, to do the closing ceremony. So we hope that um, in, despite the gap in between the opening and the closing. Uh, for the breakout, if you would stay with us and join us for that. So um, I'll go ahead and kick off uh, the second day. Um, for the opening, uh, we had scheduled um, uh, a video message from Minko 9, but for uh, unfortunate technical uh, circumstances, we won't be able to play that. But uh, what we have for you is a message from young Democrats from all around the world. Uh, De youth have been at the forefront of democracy movements uh, in history, and they are very, uh, very, very active still today, uh, as we could see in Myanmar, Hong Kong, and a lot of these democracy movements. Uh, they are vital um, in the movement, and we wanted to directly hear from them on what it means and you know why they risk their lives and risk their um, the comforts of their livelihoods to fight for democracy and if they have any messages for uh, the region uh, in continuing the fight. So uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and um, we'll hear a keynote from the Young Democrats of Asia. My name is Kira and I'm from Malaysia. The reason why we need to fight for democracy in our country is because we actually have laws that actively suppress freedom of expression and freedom of speech. Oftentimes, these laws are used to clamp down on political dissent and uh, especially young activists. And I think in Malaysia, especially with the recent political instability, it's important to keep the hope alive and to make sure that people still believe that democracy is worth fighting for. Uh, either through advocacy, lobbying, online campaign, or even going to the streets, we need to push for more inclusive and safe spaces for young people to speak up and ensure that their voices are heard. Because as an Uyghur, my family members and my entire nations are the victim of living in a country that banned democracy. We Uyghurs are living under the control of the Chinese government, which is an authoritarian state that has been characterized as totalitarian, surveillance, and a dictatorship. Chinese government locked up millions of Uyghurs into the concentration camp and the prisons, including my mother Rahila Dawood, who has been missing for more than three years, and recently I heard that she is in the prison, even though she didn't commit any crimes. People do not have the freedoms to stop this unprecedented crime against humanity. Democracy provides all the citizens basic rights through which they can give their opinions. Citizens are protected against prosecution. We need to fight for democracies. Otherwise, what's happening to Uyghur, Tibetans, Hong Kongers and the others will happen to all the people. The price for democracy is so high. 
In Myanmar, many young people are paying the price to defend the democracy. We have lost many young people by defending the democracy. Democracy, as we believe, is not something being granted by any dictator or any government. Democracy and human rights are something that you already have as your basis right. And democracy starts from yourself and democracy starts today, now. Because when you believe in its principle, its values, you can start exercising the democratic um, principles inside your own household, inside your set inside yourself with your friends and colleagues and that's how we are widening our own community of a democratic community so for that we want you to join with us let's defend the democracy in our region and in the world human rights and uh, freedom of expression of the religious and ethnic minor minorities and uh, free thinkers and the opposition parties are not safeguarded here in uh, current bangladesh uh, mostly due to the past two national election in uh, 2014 and uh, 2018 uh, where it was uh, controlled by the current government and uh, the election failed to obtain appreciation from uh, home and uh, abroad. Malfunctioning of uh, democracy during COVID-19 pandemic have uh, once again uh, exposed in several ways. Uh, Self-censorship in uh, current Bangladesh has become a new normal among uh, human rights defenders, civil society members and uh, journalists to a great extent as a result of this uh, uh, draconian uh, Digital Security Act of uh, 2018. And um, organizations like uh, Amnesty International reports that uh, more than 800 cases were uh, filed under the Digital Security Act uh, during the current pandemic. Also, the enforced disappearance by the uh, law enforcing agency is very common in uh, current Bangladesh. Civil society organization and uh, international community should be equally vocal and active towards uh, helping a liberal democracy in Bangladesh. A fair election as the first precondition of democracy is a top priority. Speaking on the forum or any like this one is truly quite hard for me and maybe for any other allies too. Because first thing first, we need to recall what's happening in the past, now and then. Some of it affects us in terms of political or by malicious law from the authoritarian state that it sounds quite distant from everyday life or individual being. But most of it is happening as a structural violence that directly hurts and threatens one's life. The fact here in Indonesia with the symptoms of authoritarian state, control over the people's life in almost every part. Let me remind you, with the omnibus law for the oligarch, it usurps the rights to the land of the indigenous peoples, which is our friend's house. To be sure, the land and the home is the sake of life and limb for their family. We can see the oligarchs also selling our future to live without the climate crisis. And the most youth had faced, the freedom of expression that crippling down through the ITE law. We are not just limited to criticizing, but our student union friends got arrested, beaten, and expelled from campus. The democratic regression distress everything. That is not an abstract thing that far from us. It is the dangerous thing that is happening in front of our nose and as fast as the bling of an eye. And we must move up together. Solidarity is what makes us going. Solidarity encourages all of us, especially for those who don't even have the courage to have hope in this age of damage. คณะสังคมวิทยาและมนุษยวิทยาค่ะคนเมื่อปีสองห้าหกสามเราก็ได้ขึ้นเวทีเป็นครั้งแรกเพื่อออกมาพูดถึงการปฏิรูปสถาบ
จะให้สังคมกลัวที่จะพูดเรื่องนี้อีกต่อไปแล้วและเมื่อเรารู้ทั้งรู้ว่าเขาว่าทําให้เรากลัวการต่อต้านของมันคือเราจึงต้องไม่กลัวและเราก็หวังว่าเสียงของเราเนี่ยจะส่งไปถึงเพื่อนๆที่ต่างประเทศด้วยเหมือนกันให้ช่วยจับตามองการเคลื่อนไหวในไทยแล้วก็ช่วยกดดันรัฐบาลไทยให้ลาออกไปหรือว่าเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนรัฐบาลหรือกระทั่งการปฏิรูปสถาบันกษัตริย์เองก็ตามเราออกมาชุมนุมกันเยอะมากแค่ไหนรัฐบาลและสถาบันกษัตริย์ยังไม่มีที่ยังไม่มีท่าทีที่จะเปลี่ยนไปเลยเพราะงั้นเนี่ยเราต้องการแรงกดดันที่มากกว่าทั้งจากในสังคมไทยเองแล้วก็จากในสังคมโลกเองก็ตามโอเค thank you um I That was so great. Um, you know, it's so important to continue on regional platforms like ours and at meetings like this uh, to make space uh, for the youth voices. Um, you know, they're definitely not in a position for us to teach them anything. Um, it's a matter of us having them with us together and working with us together uh, to continue to, you know, promote and uh, defend democracy in the region. So we thank um, all those that were able to make time and send us their message, and we hope to continue to work with you um, in in the future as well. So. Um, We'll go ahead. Uh, we also have a musical performance right before our breakout session, um, and and this uh, musical performance is uh, the Sabda Jingda uh, Trio. It's a Mal uh, Malaysian-based uh, musicians. They had uh, committed the composition of their songs about society, politics, and friendships. Their band uh, started in 2020 uh, while uh, we were in lockdown. Uh, up Upon the pandemic, and composed our songs and dedicated it to uh, Malaysia's black black flag, uh, Lawan movement. So, um, without further ado, I'll go ahead and share this uh, musical song with you. Demi menyampaikan keyakinan yang utuh, 
maju ke depan Kenang ke belakang Sejarah ku belajar Strategi ku ajar Anak semua bangsa Bersatu padu Hanya demi mereka yang pernah melawan Demi Malaysia yang ku cintai Dalam nada yang serasi Rakyat kekal berempati Semangat kolektif yang progresif Kita tolak rasisme Selagi kita boleh tolak Warna kulit tidak penting Warna hati yang kita perlu suntik Satu kita di dalam nada suara Yang ada juga nada kontradiksi Sudah tiba masanya Kita gerak ke depan Dan ubah demi Malaysia Sistem yang membinasakan Binasakan Tahanan balai mati Salah arti Salah arti Kembalikanlah semula hak bersuara kami Kali ini dengar nafas kami Katakan tolak penindasan Nafas kami kotakan bebas bersuara Nafas kami katakan kami benci kleptokrasi Ditekan, tekan, tekan, tekan Akan mati Bersatu kita di dalam nada suara Yang ada juga nada kontradiksi Sudah tiba masanya Kita gelap ke depan Dan ubah, ubah demi, demi Malaysia Sistem yang membinasakan binasakan. Tahanan balai mati Salah arti, salah arti. Kembalikanlah semula Hak bersuara kami Kali ini dengar Nafas kami Katakan tolak penindasan Penindasan Lafaz kami kotakan Bebas bersuara Lafaz kami katakan Kami benci kleptokrasi Ditekan, tekan, tekan mati Katakan tolak penindasan, penindasan. Lafaz kami kotakan bebas suara. Lafaz kami katakan kami benci kleptokrasi. Ditekan, tekan, 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 tekan mati. Ditekan, tekan, 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 tekan mati. Ditekan, tekan, 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 tekan mati. Great, thank you so much. Um, I think that was a very good expression of um, the current um, 
you know, things that's happening in Malaysia um, and a good insight into uh, what the thoughts of uh, the youth are. So um, thank you again for uh, that great, great um, presentation. Uh, we'll go ahead and now start our breakout sessions. Unfortunately, uh, we will have to stop the live um, at this point. Um, and then we'll come back on in about an hour uh, and 15 minutes uh, back on live to do the uh, reports of uh, what the breakout session discussions were like and uh, with the closing ceremony. Thank you everyone. And um, for those uh, joining us live, we'll be back. Uh, for those in the Zoom, please uh, hold on.